everything. All right, guys, we're back in managed packages with NPM doing dev environment. So let's go ahead and jump into our Cloud9 instance right now. Get it going here, just for a second. All right. Oh, it's almost there. So we're gonna cover a lot of cool topics, right? Uh, in every one of these, slowly but surely. Damn, if this ever loads. There we go, okay. So if you forgot how to open up the current section, we just gotta do the call the package how to NPM, and we're gonna jump down to dev environment. Now, uh, as always, it's gonna start off by telling us what we're looking to do. In this, in this example, we're looking to make a directory, um, something we're gonna be doing a lot of. And as someone who's not very comfortable with the command line, because I've just been using GUIs all my life, all this stuff that we're gonna be learning is gonna make us much more comfortable with command line. So sometimes they'll tell you to do something and you may say, I actually don't know how to do that. And so, um, such as make a directory, uh, which is why I always do these before and they get, get going. Not that super complicated, but you just have to know how to do it. So in this example, um, we're going to uh, uh, start installing some things. Let's see here. Um, so it's basically telling us we want to keep all our stuff organized and that's exactly what we're going to do so we're going to make a new directory which the command to do this mkdir so like make directory and then name it in this in our case we're going to just put ct360 now if you want to see how to see the command for that after the fact or the see what's in your current directory you should just do ls like i just did there but uh, we actually want to change directories. We want to go into that directory. So all we have to do is CD or change directory, CT360. And you'll see now our pathing here is a little bit, a little bit different. It's, uh, it's exactly where in our current one. And now we can just check to see if we've accomplished this, this challenge here. And uh, we can do how to NPM verify. Uh, it says our solution is correct. So now when we go how to dash NPM, you'll see it's time for us to move on. Um, so really three things, three or four things to keep, to keep in mind for this quick example here. First, you're gonna really wanna get comfortable with um, command line stuff. So uh, you saw we used LS to look what's in our current directory, CD to change directory, and then MKDIR uh, to create a directory followed by the directory name. So these are all things that you, if you don't have a memorized from years of practice or um, just re repetition, go ahead and make a little sticky note. You'll see I have a sticky note up with a bunch of stuff as well that I'm keeping track of until I memorize all this sort of stuff. But um, just, and be aware that we're gonna, you're gonna need to be very uh, methodical with how you keep your files to keep everything organized because we're really gonna be doing a lot of stuff in the command line. It's gonna be important to be able to see where everything goes and it's all gonna make sense. But uh, as always guys, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And I will see you in the next video when we'll jump into the login section. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsor, Dev Mountain. Definitely check them out at devmountain.com. If you're looking for a boot camp that's in front end development, iOS, or UX, go ahead and give them a shot. Tuition includes housing so you can get up and go and fully immerse yourself in the program. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.